Hello everybody and welcome to the tavern. My name's Jay. And uh it's gonna be a bit of a rant. I'm trying to figure out what it is I'm gonna be I had I had this on my mind. Oh, so the rant about this rant is about like I, I've seen like not just YouTubers, but like everybody else who follows you, these YouTubers, kind of just like, <clears throat> like in certain like competitive games, not really take a risk. With and this is going to appear in like another one of my videos within the week, probably tomorrow. But um, they, they a lot. I see a lot of people not take risk and not try something different that could actually be very beneficial into actually helping with the Pokemon or helping like anything in a competitive game. So what do I mean? So let's say Pikachu. if I can be Pikachu. Pikachu. So I'm gonna be a Pikachu. Usually my main would be Venusaur and um, My mains will be Venusaur and um, Sylveon. I recently just got Pikachu and I've been doing great with him so far. This is my, my uh, build set with him. And what I go is Thunder and uh, Vault Tackle. I've even done it a while back before as like an off meta build. But um, the thing is, like, I see people not take risks with certain with certain builds, especially with online, where something could possibly work if you perfected the craft, theory craft more other things, which is something I've been trying to do, and a lot of times build like certain builds help because the thing is like even before this people keep saying like oh Pikachu doesn't have an end game or, or like his end game is bad because um That was my bad, whatever. But people don't take risks. They don't try to like experiment with something else. They always go with like the tried and true. So, something that's considered like tried and true, which not all things is considered tried and true. That's a good ninja there. Like not everything is tried and true and not everything actually works the way uh, you want it. Really, he shouldn't have any mobility in there. But like I again I go thunder and vault tackle. For, for, for Pikachu. Is it, is it gonna be like a Pikachu build? It's gonna be a rant. Nobody really takes risks. Everybody keeps going like the same items, the same items, hoping for like different results. And then a lot of times, no results, it, there is no different result. And that's because no one's actually, again, trying anything new out of the bubble. Just gonna just stay in lane far too long. And the thing is, like, if you can just get out of your, for YouTubers, for anybody, get out of your bubble, do something different, learn what it is you could be doing. Not everything has to be meta defined. Like, 
Like, that's what I mean. Nothing has to be like truly just meta defining. Mine. That's me dead. Wow. Had the advantage in everything. All right, this is getting me nowhere. But hey, just go out of, to take a risk. Just find different move sets. Find something that's actually gonna work. Don't just like I don't know. Don't, don't just fall into a line of this is the meta and letting the meta define you. That's what everybody's doing right now. They're just letting the meta define them. And it becomes so much of an issue because not everybody, everybody is starting to think maybe this is it, this is it. And then they never try anything new. Never try, they never try anything new. They never do anything remotely substantive. And it kind of just... Where the fuck does this greeting come from? Like right now, our team is bad. And the thing is, I think it's just because they don't know what they're actually doing anymore. And that's been a problem with a lot of games lately. They just don't know what to do. And if you don't know what you're doing in a game, it's perfectly all right. Not everything has to be black and white. But it's just sometimes you gotta do something that's like out of the ordinary. Like, boom, right there. If you can kill this, boom, kill this in the race, you get the uh, EXP bonus. Like, see, that Pikachu, he's gonna, late game, he's gonna suffer. Mine. I'm also gonna suffer because my entire team died. Why isn't Greedent dying? Um, to farm a little bit. Nah, it's no point. I'm trying my best to get this Greedent and. Uh, let me see if I can get my level 12. I'm pretty sure I can get me uh, something very substantive like a Vault Taku Plus. Will I be able to score here? Yes. That's fine. Am I still level 11? I'm still level 11. But yeah, like nobody's really taking risks. Everybody's you can see who's doing like the safe and the, the safest routes, I would guess. And it's getting to the point where it's just like sometimes safe isn't what you need. Sometimes you need to do something that's actually out of your bubble. I might have to uh, 
Come on. Okay. Cause I was about to fucking say that Pikachu actually went up and left. Like right there. Boom. Ah, uh, could have let me put in my 23. Would have been a fat overdunk. Alright, we got two murdered. Right? That was me murdering on, right? Yep, two murdered. So while I'm out of the game for about a good grip, so are they. But yeah, like, again, nobody's really taking risks. I don't even have to do anything. I got hit by a stupid, uh, move. It's fine, though. Oh, I'm down for, like, 24 seconds. Shit. Oh, but, okay, they finally surrendered. But yeah. I I'm gonna harp on this. Nobody's taking risks. Nobody's trying to pick a different moveset. Everybody keeps saying, these Pokemon suck, these Pokemon suck. And then they're trying out different combinations of what can make them work, what cannot make them work. So on and so forth. And it's really... It, it, it's becoming, I'm seeing something where I'm seeing the same exact things over and over. With very little exceptions here and there, where I'm, where I'm starting to fall into the into everything. Where if I see a Gengar, oh my God, we're gonna lose because we have a Gengar. But I don't know the playstyle. I don't know anything about it. Maybe we could win. Who knows? But in one of my other videos coming out probably tomorrow or the day after, you, you'll see me play what people consider a bad Pokemon, Garchomp. And I'm going to see how bad Garchomp actually is, because I don't think he's all that bad. I think it's the team surrounding Garchomp that becomes bad, but if the Garchomp player is good, then chances are the Garchomp will be good. It's literally... Here's what it is. People keep saying certain Pokemon are bad, and I don't see anybody actually trying to break the mold, trying to break what the meta is, if there even is a meta. And try anything new. I just see people playing the same things over and over. That gets kind of boring. Oh, there goes my controller. So, with that being said, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment down below. Do you think people will take take risks in uh, this game, or do you think people just go with whatever? other people who say is good or bad. With that being said, the tavern is now closed. I shall see you all later.